take a minute take five minutes you start your day not with confession not with your request you start it with gratitude every morning when we wake up we need to empty out anything negative from the day before somebody offended you at work they didn't treat you right it's easy to let that offense stay feels good to carry around a grudge but you have to be disciplined say no I am not giving this offense any room I am not going to let it sour my day smile first thing when you get up in the morning wake up and smile this might seem stupid but the very act of smiling moving your facial muscles is connected to all sorts of happy feelings in your brain it's almost impossible to be upset when you're smiling you can try it for yourself the more time you spend in a positive mood the more you'll condition yourself to be in a positive mood. The more time you spend in a negative mood, the more you'll condition yourself to be unhappy and sad. You're always going in one direction or the other, consciously or unconsciously. So why not get in the habit of conditioning positivity and happiness? Envision a great life. Plan your life. Think about where you want to go and not just where dinner's going to be tonight and then go fight like crazy and live the life you designed. Setting the intention when you get up in the morning and feel grateful for what you already have in your life. Decide who you want to become and become that person. Doesn't matter where you start, doesn't matter who you were born to, doesn't matter what your DNA is. You can become anyone you want to become. So I have no doubt that you can become special. I have no doubt that you can do amazing things that other people simply believe are not possible. But it's a choice, and it's based on your actions and what you do and your willingness to suffer and grow and fail and learn from it and get back up and claw your way to the top. But it's in your control. So the current state of your life is all your fault, whether that's good or bad. But you can become anything you want. Just have to set your mind to it. You must really go for your own and realize how short life is. You got what you got. So you got to make the most of it. You really can't spend a whole lot of time worrying. You really have to go for your own. What we do is we kind of check out because it feels overwhelming. Or we check out because we're afraid. Or we check out because we start listening to self-doubt. And then we make these teeny tiny decisions all day long. We don't even realize it. A decision to not get up on time, a decision to not eat the right thing, a decision to snap at your kids, a decision to not speak in a meeting, a decision to not look for a job, a decision to not deal with your finances, whatever it is. All day long, these tiny decisions that take you so far off track. Don't go through life looking in the rearview mirror, down on yourself, living in regrets. You can't do anything about the past, but you can do something about right now. Quit telling yourself, this is so hard. I'll never accomplish my dreams. I'll never get out of debt. This is a new day. You are going to have a strength that you did not have before. You have something unique and amazing to offer to the world that nobody else can do. You are not only unique. I think it, you're a bloody miracle, the fact that you were born who you were born. And there's a reason why you're here and it's time to start to figure it out. People that are successful do what the failures won't. So if you want to be successful, if you want to be happy and fulfilled, you got to do what everyone else is not willing to do. You've got to have a higher standard than everybody else. Learn to plan every day. Did you know if you'll take 1% of your day to plan the other 99%, it will make the other 99% go a lot better? Did you know 1% only is 14 minutes a day? 14 minutes a day to make the other 99% to go better. What do you want to visualize? What do you want to do with yourself, with your day, with your week, with your month, with your life? I find that this combination of being grateful and visualizing the world that I want to live in is a very, very powerful thing. Get there. Get after it. Attack the day. Make things happen. You hold the keys to the future.